you may have never heard of creation science. Some of you may not even know that creation scientists exist. But that's going to change after tonight. Usually when that question is asked, it's a pretty loaded question. There's a lot of false assumptions involved. The first question I'm going to ask them is, how do you define science? Or, do you know what the two types of science are? Isn't that amazing? How the flood can explain so much of what we see in the world today from the fossilized sea creatures on top of the highest mountains, including the Himalayas, even in paleontology, biology, geology. Just because we don't see the word dinosaur in the Bible doesn't mean that the Bible doesn't refer to dinosaurs. Uh, because like every other animal, they, most of them would have died during the flood. And evolution claims that different life forms evolved from a common ancestor over millions of years. But the Bible says that God created all life, each according to its kind. Now, let me briefly show you why evolution completely and utterly falls apart when examined by observational science.